Hey, Brandon. Hey, Kat. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm great. I'm, I'm always good. Have I ever said I'm horrible? <laughs> no. Today's going horrible today. <laughs> Everything sucks. <laughs> um, what are you going to show me today? I'm going to teach you how to install your very own commercial espresso machine, um, and it's going to be a Ranchilio espresso machine. Okay, cool. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is power. power, power. <laughs> <laughs> you, I can't plug that right into the wall. No, well, yeah. you you could try. You could try. <laughs> um, you, Mixed you, results. You can hardwire it. Um, it's a very bad idea because it's not movable at that point. <laughs> um, most of your machines, though, this is how they're going to come. Okay. So some of them do come with a plug. I don't know why. Some do, some don't. It's up to the manufacturer. I see. Okay. Um, thing to know on this, it's three wire, two twenty power. Okay, so we're, okay. we're in two twenty. Um, there in America, we have two kinds of two twenty. You have four wire and three wire. Mm -hmm. um, all espresso machines operate off a of three wire, and what that means, they have a ground, and I've got two hot wires. Okay. So when we go, basically, it's you combine these together, we end up with two hundred twenty volts. Okay. So you can go to any Home Depot, Lowe's, any place really, electrical supply store, and buy a plug. Uh, this is an L six dash 30 and the 30s for 30 amp okay okay be careful because there are l6-20 and that's a 20 amp one you want to get a 30, 30. Amp plug okay um it's very very simple from this standpoint though again nothing's plugged in so it's not like we're going to hurt ourselves mm -hmm. well with electricity yeah <laughs> we don't speak to the rest right exactly um <laughs> we're just going to take this off here and you are going to find different styles of these plugs they're all the same though this okay. is just a clamp to hold the back down and then we want to actually get our wires inside. Got it. So they're going to have two clamps there. We're going to have three screws right here. So I'm going to pop those off real quick. And then that comes out. Okay. So all we're going to do is slide these through there. Mm -hmm. That's all that's there for at that point. Um, it's going to open it up and you're going to, they're very nice to you normally. Big green spot for that. Okay, that's your ground. I see. The X and the Y are just power. So the benefit we have with American Power is it's just running basically 120 volts on each leg, mm -hmm. which is when you combine them, you get 220. So it really doesn't make any bit of difference if you go white and black, black and white. You can flip them because they're just running the same power. Thing. I see. Makes okay. sense? Uh, so you're going to open all three of these up. Typically, this one actually came already open, so mm -hmm. that makes my life easier. Twist that. This is actually, to me, one of the hardest parts always just because you have so many wires dangling at you. They're kind of thick wires. you got to get them inside there like that. Can you see? We're just tightening And then you're that tightening down. that. Okay, yep. got it. And I'm going to show you here real quick. Once I get it nice and tight, you don't want a loose wire inside there. Mm -hmm. You can even get a flat head if you want just to get that extra oomph on it. I see. But see how it's now clamped down mm -hmm. and it's not going anywhere? And then from there, we're just going to do the exact same on... Both of these others. others. And you just choose whichever one you want to put. Exactly. Okay. It doesn't make any bit of difference. You're not going to blow up the world. Um, not the world. This isn't Brandon's terrorist cooking <laughs> class. <laughs> Here's how to blow up the machine. No. Is that Pinky in the Brain? <laughs> Pinky in the Brain. Exactly. <laughs> yes, no. The biggest thing is really just making sure you're putting these things in tight. Okay. Um, a loose wire, that's what causes fires. So okay. So when your, your biggest issue inside of that is just doing that. So once we get it inside there, I will always normally just get it in. If you're comfortable with the grip you have on your Phillips set, that's great. Mm -hmm. If not, once it's tight, like I said, go grab a flat head. And then do an extra tweak. Yeah, because that just gives you there. There's really no way of over-tightening that. Mm -hmm. But once that's in there and that's nice and tight, slide that up. Always pay attention. There's one actual way these things go. If I can find that. There we go. So we got that little notch right here. Mm -hmm. You actually have to get that lined up with I that see. notch. If you don't, it won't go in. So once that's in from that standpoint, <clears throat> tighten, tighten, tighten. And then we'll put this right back here to hold these wires kind of in place. Um, if you're going for pretty, you can trim your wires. There is no harm in that, though. Okay. Okay? It's just a look. St it's it's a design decision at that point. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so you're just putting that and then one the and then we're done. the screw. Okay. If I can, you know, get it in there. <laughs> cool. Oops. All right. So that is... Um, Installing the plug for, so now we're done with our electrical. That's done with the electrical. Okay. 
Okay, so we are on to the water side now. Mm -hmm. The uh, water side actually deals with two things. Okay. One is in, one is out. All right. <laughs> I don't know why out's much bigger than in, but it just happens that way. Um, Ranchilio actually always sends all of their machines with the drainage hose already connected. Installed. Okay, so that's cool. So that makes cool. it nice because you don't have to fumble inside the machine and yeah. actually put it in. Um, so it's really on your side just about pushing it or putting it into some kind of a... Of a floor sink yep. or something like that into a yeah floor drain anything it's, it's just whatever your hole in your drain is you're going to slide it right on down make Got sure it. it's straight that's all you have you're to good do to go. okay um they also send it with your braided line already connected inside the machine all right so you don't have to go inside the machine we just have to worry about outside okay okay so here is the number one problem everybody has um all espresso machines are done in a thing called british pipe threading mm -hmm. british pipe threading is exactly as it sounds it's not available in america you <laughs> you cannot just walk into your home depot and buy a british pipe threading okay. we have pipe threading which is american pipe threading yeah which is different all right um it confuses everybody you you go in you see all right this is a three eighths because if you read the directions it's going to say three eighths pipe threading yeah um but it's in british you go buy three eighths pipe threading it will not it fit. won't fit okay so in america the easiest way to deal with this problem is a little plastic piece called john guest fittings mm -hmm. or quick connect um if it's a brand name you'll see john guest they'll also call them quick connect fittings mm -hmm. these actually screw into american and British pipe threading three eighths. Okay. Okay. So effectively from that standpoint, it's just going to screw in just like that. Okay. Once this happens, now it takes it to a manageable uh, product that we can deal with in America. And that, and then you can basically, it'll hook into the rest of the plumbing. Exactly. The, Which we'll get to, we'll get to later here. Okay. Um, but yeah, so first thing is just converting this into something we can deal with in America. Okay. Um, it is plastic, which means you don't technically have to put on any, um, Teflon tape. Mm -hmm. However, I am a over Tefloner. You go crazy. With I go, Teflon. I go crazy with it. Um, <laughs> so if you've never Teflon tape before, you just want to make sure you're, you're running with the same way you're screwing it on. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be screwing it on this way. Okay. Which means I need my tape to go that way. Running that way. So I'm going counterclockwise with it. And there we go. So the biggest thing with Teflon tape, if you don't if you've never used it before, is I don't know if you can even see this. You see how it kind of lips up over there? Mm, it's like right there where my fingernails yeah. go in there. You just want to make sure none of that makes it in. Okay. So a lot of times you go over and it ends up coming over the top. Just make sure all the sides are clear so it okay. looks like that. That way we don't end up with pieces in our system. Okay. From there, we're going to finger tighten it and then we're going to use two adjustable wrenches just to tighten it down. So once that's done, adjustable wrench under here. Just put a wrench onto there. And then it's just going to get nice and tight right there. Cool. All right. So now we have converted it to a manageable water source. There we go. All right. So we are going to move on to um, actually connecting our water filter to the machine itself. So we're going to start plumbing in the machine. Mm -hmm. I do want to touch on one thing though real quick. Okay. So these right here come with the machine. We actually do not use these. Uh, what this basically is, is an adapter piece. These will actually screw into here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this allows you to, they've actually pitched it just enough to adapt into American pipe threading. Okay. okay? Um, if you are plastic averse, so you don't want to use plastic, mm -hmm. you can use this system. You just need to get different adapters than what we're currently doing. Okay. You'll see these three crush washers that come with it. Mm -hmm. um, basically, crush washer is going to go on there. Okay, that'll screw on and tighten. Crush washer will go on this one. And screw on and tighten. And then you would actually, this little crush washer, if you remember we put this piece on here, mm -hmm. this will actually go inside of there. I see, okay. and then it connects to... And then this would then screw directly on. So what you have is an arrow. It's going to tell you which way the water flow is going to go. Mm -hmm. So water is going to be coming from underneath up. So this end would then actually screw directly onto here. I see. Okay. And then what I would do is this would take it out to a 3 8 um, I believe it's a 3 8 um, MIP or it would be FIP basically. Okay. Um, so it's a 3 8 pipe threading. And you could then adapt it from 3 8 pipe threading on into the 3 8 compression, which is really where we're trying to get to. Okay. 
Okay, so we're not going to use the brass fittings. What are we going to use? So we are going to stick with that quick connect line that you've seen before, which mm -hmm. is basically this plastic line. Okay. Um, and the reason being is that, again, it's A, it's easier to, to work with, but now we're going to add a water filter system. Okay. <clears throat> so this here, it's all plastic fittings, and it's the same fittings that you'll see that's on the end of the espresso machine that we that we added. Mm -hmm. um, what this is, it's a 3 8 MIP by 3 8 OD, and the OD stands for outside diameter, okay. which is the size of that line Got it. that you're seeing right there. Um, any Home Depot, any Lowe's, you can get it from. That's the brand that we're using right there. Doesn't really make a difference. Very simple though. This is the head. All we do is screw that on there. It's a plastic going to plastic, so you don't necessarily need to Teflon tape it. Um, if you like Teflon tape, you can, but mm -hmm. you don't really need to. Okay. So we're gonna go in finger tight from that standpoint and then just take an adjustable wrench just to give it a little extra tightness. Um. Just a little extra oomph. And I watch your finger because I just about cut myself right there. Ow. So you do that. Same deal through here. Trying to get an L and I claim in out of this video, huh? You know, it's, uh, <laughs> I need a vacation. <laughs> I have been filming nonstop I for know, like you're a machine. days. All right, so now once that's done, we actually have something I can plug in the water. Same mm -hmm. deal, little arrow on there. Water comes in, water goes out. So coming from our our down below our faucet, we're going to send a quick connect line in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send this quick connect light out to the espresso machine directly to there. Um, from there, all you really have is the ESO7 head that mm -hmm. we're going to be using. I'm sorry, the filter on there. Mm -hmm. um, not going to take us apart right this second, but you're going to see right there that just kind of screws into this. Okay, and that's what you replace every so often based on use. Yep, generally about once a year is, is what it's going to be replaced. So this you're going to want to affix, you're going to want to install this because yep. this always stays and then this you will replace. Yep, yep. Okay. This just screws in and out. That's the replacement. This will stay permanently. Um, and then so basically from that standpoint, once you're there, it's the same concept as we did before. This line's going to go in, push it in nice and tight, mm -hmm. and make sure you can do that with it. Okay. Okay? Cool. And that's it. All right, now that we are tight in this uh, area, <laughs> nice and close. Love is in the air. This is what you're dealing with. So everybody has one of these coming out. What's left is basically called a 3 8 compression fitting. That's what we're always connecting to. Um, we actually have a sink connected, so we're going to split off of that sink. And what you have is you got to turn the water off first. <laughs> uh, it's a bad idea. If you don't, mm -hmm. you'll notice it really, really quickly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this. I'm going to disconnect our sink. Okay. It's a little bit of a tight fitting. It helps, you know, I like adjustable wrenches, but sometimes it's not bad if you don't have one. Um, once that pops, get that off and we'll probably spill a little bit of water. That's okay. But the water never killed anyone. Um, so here's where you kind of have a choice which what you have. Now, you know, if you bought the um, fitting from the Home Depot, you, you're only going to have one single way of connecting it, so you can't really split that way, okay? Okay. Um, if you have our little piece, this does allow us to split off, so okay. that's part of the no, part of the reason why we use that. Um, from there... And split off means that the water will go through to the machine and then also maintain your sink connection. Exactly. So okay. what we're going to do, if you can see it, yeah. is connect like that. Okay. okay. Um, if not, what we'd have to do, we're going to split it a different way if we go with the Home Depot setup. Um, it really just depends what you have. So from there, we're just really going to get this on. It's going to be a little bit of a tight fit. There we go. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy from there. And as I tighten that, this will start tightening up on me. I see. Okay, so now it's not so wiggly. <laughs> Squiggly wiggly. Squiggly wiggly. You know who a little water did hurt though, Brandon? The Wicked Witch of the West. Did it? Yeah, and the Wicked Witch of the East. That's a movie, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so from there, since I'm going to reconnect all this here, I'm just going to try to get that in there. Just a bit of a tight fit on me, but that's okay. Okay, so now what we have done is our uh, sink is now totally connect reconnected again, right? Exactly. So now you can still use your sink water. You can still use your sink water. Okay. And then I'm going to have to just get around that. Let's that. Get that out of my way. And then um, once you have this connected, now I've got the little white dude down here. Um, is that where I'm going to... That is going to be for our quick connect line itself. That's going to then go... 
uh, to feed into the espresso machine. Exactly. Okay. So right now, if I were to turn this on, water's coming out this way. Okay. Okay. One thing to keep in mind is I always like it actually pointing down. And part of the reason is there's going to be tension on it. Okay. So you've got this line right here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be tension. Okay. If it goes down, it's fine. If it's hanging sideways, it starts pulling down. I see. Okay. In, in the long run, that's just my paranoia, I think, because it's, uh, you know, I've never really seen one of these pop off and start leaking. But the more that it's bending down like that, the I more potential to pop out. Got it. Okay. So you'll notice how it's sitting straight down like that. Mm -hmm. Once that's done, it's just a matter of pushing this in. Put your hand up top here to grip it. And nice and tight. So you can see from that standpoint, mm -hmm. it's not going anywhere now. I can't pull it out. Okay. And then from there, this is this line right here is going to go right back up into our machine, and we'll be able to turn the water on and we'll get water to, to our machine. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do now that everything is connected is we are going to connect this piece to way back to the John Guest fitting that we had earlier. Mm -hmm. You just want to push this in. It's a little weird because you want to make sure you push it all the way in. It has a first grab, and then you're going to watch as I push it. You see how it went yeah. in a little extra? And you should be able to do this. You see how I'm pulling it? It's going mm -hmm. nowhere. Okay. Okay. If it's leaking, um, you can pull it back out. The way these work is you have to use your fingers to hold that piece like that. And then you kind of back it out. It's really, really sticky at first. Okay. Um, but then you back it out. If this isn't level, so it's not a nice level cut, mm -hmm. it's going to leak on you. So you need to trim it, do some trimming beforehand? Yep. Okay. Trim it. Just make sure it's nice. Push it in nice and tight. Nice and secure to where you can do that. And now you are good to start putting water to your machine. Cool.